Hundreds of protesters gathered around Liverpool Town Hall on Wednesday to voice their discontent over the proposed £156 million to be cut throughout the city services. Protesters were met by significant police presence in an attempt to keep the crowd from disturbing traffic along the busy Dale and Castle streets. Amongst the disgruntled gathering were groups from children's centres, elderly homes, library services and a section chanting in an attempt to stop the bedroom tax. It's based upon a complete lie. What the Bullington boys, the Tory government, say, there's no money left. Cuts are, cuts are necessary. That is a rank lie. There's 750 billion in the banks. There is 100 billion uncollected taxes every year. The taxpayer paid 850 billion to bail out the banks. There is 13 trillion lying in offshore bank accounts. And in the same week, that Joe Anderson said he's going to implement a fair that £150 million pounds worth of cuts. Barclays Bank set aside £2.5 billion pounds to pay out in bonuses. A bank which is guilty or is being charged with illegal practices. The same with RSB. They've set aside £1.5 billion to pay the bonuses. Now these are the people who caused the crisis in the first place. And it's absolute obscenity that a Labour council a Labour council led by a, a so-called Labour mayor by, like Joe Anderson, who was a Tory in Labour clothing, is in fact implementing these cuts while that sort of obscenity goes on. And that's why I'm down here today. It's three years, one million pounds. The protests right. remain calm, that's with songs ringing out to show their disapproval at the council's latest cuts to the city. The budget meeting saw £42 million being cut to the adult social care budget, which will lead to a number of daycare centres being forced to shut. Additionally, £16 million is to be saved from children's services, meaning that a number of council-run centres will be closed, whilst a further £500,000 being slashed from library services. You can see the looks in people's faces where they can't survive. We've had people in our surgery this afternoon who've got no food got no electricity, got no gas, got no benefits. We're talking about people who are destitute, and that's happening in the seventh richest country in the world, in a glorious city like Liverpool. If Joe Anderson wasn't aware about how some people around Liverpool felt around the proposed cuts, he does now. The message? No ifs, no buts, no public sector cuts. No ifs, no buts, no public sector cuts.